Hey guys, welcome back. Orbomb here, bringing you a really, really cool deck thanks to some really cool new middle evolutions and I guess final evolutions as well. We're going to be showcasing Vikavolt today. This is a, I thought, this is a really strong non GX deck. It's the non GX deck that is a GX Slayer. Um, so before you end the video, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, share, all that good jazz. Yeah. Just drop a like. You you know why you know why you need to drop a like. So you just do it. If you, I mean, only if you support the content, of course, or support the like button. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, let's get right into this video today. No 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 need to dilly dally. I want to talk about this deck really bad. We have four Grubbins. I think there's a new Grubbin. I actually don't know what it does, uh, but I know it has a one energy attack, so it might be better. Uh, I guess somebody let me know in the comments what the new Grubbin does. Um, but that's not what matters. What matters here is the Charger Bug. Actually, the new, I think the new Grubbin actually has a decent attack. Whatever, you, you, it doesn't matter. I didn't want to print more stuff because printing is ink. And look how beautiful these printing are. It's not cheap. It cost me like $80 every set to buy ink. <laughs> At minimum. Uh, Charger Bug. <laughs> that aside, Charger Bug here is the main reason why we're playing Vikavolt right now. This Charger Bug is a really, really cool Pokemon. A uh, battery. If this card is in your hand, let me see if I can make that clear for you guys. So the audio, once again, the audio is always weird whenever I read things. I don't use my mic because I'm using my phone to record, so you guys know how it is. If this card is in your hand, you may attach it as a special energy to one of your Vikavolt or Vikavolt GX in play. Uh, it doesn't count as uh, your energy attachment for the turn either. So you can actually attach this along as well as a DCE or this as well as a lightning energy or whatever you need to. While this Pokemon is attached to a Pokemon, it provides two lightning energy. It's a double lightning energy on a Vikavolt. That's so cool, because it doesn't even count for your energy attachment for the turn. That makes this card really strong. Now, I will say, this card has made this card so strong that at first I was trying to play this deck with the Vikavolt, the one that has strong charge, but we just cut it all together, because we didn't need it. We have this brand new Vikavolt here that actually hits a really good number. Uh, 120 raw, which is really good. Um, it just 120 raw is really strong and it's all. It does really well against a lot of non-GX decks. But uh, you may discard all lightning energy from this Pokemon. If you do, this attack is 100 more damage. So you just discard the Charger Bug. And I guess whatever other lightning energy you have attached, because you usually have one more lightning energy attached, right? So that's really, really, really cool. Uh, being able to attack for 220 damage. So that means this deck doesn't need nearly as many damage buffs as other lightning decks do, because you're already gonna take Oko and everything. You only want the damage buffs for uh, non -G uh, for attack team GX decks, maybe some stage two GX decks as well. That's about it though. So that makes this Vikavolt a <laughs> slayer. The Slayer of cards. And then we're playing two Vikavolt GX, because Vikavolt GX is actually not bad. We don't own any real ones, so we had to print some as well. Uh, Vikavolt GX has some pretty strong attacks. 240 HP is pretty good too. It's easy to evolve up to the Vikavolt. Uh, Charge Beam does 50 damage, and then you can attach an energy. This includes, this includes DCE. It does not include Charge Bug, because it's not energy in the discard pile, of course. Uh, Super Zap, Zap Cannon does 180 straight up. Uh, you can discard two energy from this Pokemon, so that includes the DCE, or includes a Charge Bug if you need to. Um, and then Giga, Gigatron GX is the main reason why I'm playing this card. Being able to put 60 all over the board, especially early game, which by the way, if you get this, if you're going first, right? Imagine the scenario, right? You're going first, you're playing against Zoroark. So they fill up their board with like four Zoro and a Ditto. <laughs> you know, say they have the dream, maybe, maybe Rockruff, 60 HP Rockruff, Zoro, 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 Ditto. All right, dream scenario for your opponent, right? And you, they're going, they're going second. You went first, so you already had a Grubbin down. So now you Rare Candy, Vickable. You attach a DCE, and then you attach a Charger Bug, and now you're fully set up. Gigatron, you just take five prizes, and then you're just like, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? <laughs> there's so many good scenarios for this Vikavolt, because there's still quite a few 60 HP basic Pokemon that you play down. This includes Dittos and stuff as well. Not to mention, it could always put things on your opponent's bench in range of this without having to discard energy, which keeps you a little bit more consistent throughout the game as well. And as far as Pokemon, you could play Ditto. The reason why I'm not playing Ditto is because I don't ever want to evolve into Charger Bug, and Ditto can't go directly into Vikavolt Rare Candy, so... I want to keep my charge bucks for energy attachments. That's the main reason why I'm not playing Ditto. Uh, we are playing one Dedenne though, just to speed up the process a little bit. Not to mention, if you're not going to use Vikavolt GX's GX attack, you could always use Electric Turn, which paralyzes your opponent and then puts it back into your hand so you can reuse the Dedenne later or just get rid of a low HP uh, GX off your board. Uh, you can always use Static Shock too, I guess. Uh, Dedenne Charge just means you discard your hand and draw seven or draw six, so it's just the new Shaman. And I figured might as well throw it in because, I mean, we could always use it. With all, for all of its assets, you know. Plus, consistency is kind of key in this deck. If you whiff your attachment for turn, it's so easy to attack every turn. Um, especially since I think you can, um, I don't remember if the Charger Bug is a once per turn. Let me double check. 
Yeah, it's not a once per turn thing either. So you could actually double attach a charger bug to one Pokemon if you want to, uh, without even having a manual attachment too. So you can always just load up attacks immediately, and that attack does 220 damage. Let me remind you, it's a lot of damage. <laughs> now, as far as uh, the rest of the cards go, um, just more consistency stuff. Four Ultra Ball. We have actually have quite a few trainers. I might have to move this. Four Nest Ball, four Ultra Ball, uh, no glare, perfect. And then four Poke Gear, Poke Gear just to get you more supporters. We don't want to play down Lele. We don't want to play down any Pokemon really. Just, just having Poke Gear is enough. And we're mainly using. Um, we have some pretty decent supporters in this deck, uh, but most of more most of the time you're pretty set as long as you have your right trainers, right? Uh, four four Rare Candy because we want to evolve into our things all the time, and then four Rescue Stretcher. We are playing four Rescue Stretcher because not only does that mean you can bring back your Vicavolt so they get knocked out, but you also can bring back an energy <laughs> in the Charger Bug, right? So you can actually put the Charger Bugs back in your deck, maybe put them directly into your hand, and it's a Pokemon that counts as two Lightning Energies. Do you not understand how strong that is? That's incredibly strong. Vicavolt really showing off how good it can be. Two Electro Powers because that damage buff could still be useful here and there. Maybe you don't want to discard your energy and you still have to knock out a 130, 160, something HP. So 150 HP Pokemon. Char uh, electro Power will help you through that. But most of the time, Choice Band will be your friend. Choice Band means you hit 250. I guess with an Electro Power you could hit 280, which could still knock out some bigger boys. Um, so Choice Band I still feel like is the proper play in this deck. But the Electro Power is helping against some non-GX cards. If you want to drop the Dene for one of these like a third electro power or something like that or like i mean if you want to drop anything in this deck for like more electro powers i want to be that mad at you just keep in mind that you're probably going to oko everything anyway so it doesn't matter too much as far as supporters go um four lily actually we don't have as many supporters so we won't do that four lilies and four volkners volkner in this deck is especially good um because you only need like one mana attachment here and there. You definitely need to find your rare candies a lot easier because that's the name of the game. Ultra Ball, Choice Man, Electro Powers. I know that like some people don't like playing Volkner and maybe they're just like, oh, I wish I had Cynthia instead. I'm kind of like the opposite right now. I feel like Volkner does make this deck really good because all you really care about is getting that turn two Vicavolt and this helps you a lot getting that turn two Vicavolt. Um, three Guzma, because you know, big knockouts, pretty, pretty nice. And then one Judge, one Cynthia, extra draw support, I guess. Um, uh, and, you know, and Judge's Hand Disruption, so that's all that matters. Not too much to explain there, I guess. As far as everything else goes, one Thunder Mountain. Uh, because of how easy it is for us to load energies onto a Vicavolt, I don't really care about playing multiple stadiums. <clears throat> Do keep in mind, I don't think I mentioned this yet, but Vicavolt's ability is, uh, if there's a stadium in play, this card has no weakness. So if you are playing against, if you feel like there's a fighting type meta, you could always add more stadiums to, uh, uh, to abuse that ability. But if not, you don't care about Wonder Mountain or Wonder Labyrinth. That's the main reason why I play multiple stadiums is Wonder Labyrinth is annoying. I guess also that dark stadium could be annoying as well. Um, but for the most part, you don't really care too much. Thunder Mountain's all you need just to attack easier throughout the game. And then of course, four DCEs and five Lightning Energies. The energy count's really low because you don't really need to attach these energies all the time. Uh, DCEs are just helpful because um, they can make your Vicavolt GX attack easier, and I guess you could also always attach them to this Vicavolt for easier attack costs as well. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the deck, guys. It's actually really simple, really short. The video's below 10 minutes. Oh no! Do you know what that means? That means I really need you guys to like this video because I'm not gonna stretch this out any longer than I need to. Um, I mean, the deck is really simple, but really, really, really powerful. Definitely give it a try. I can't wait to play this myself more often in the future. Um, but that's going to be it. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, share, all that good jazz. Answer the comment question today for a chance to win a couple of codes. Always, as always, shout out to our sponsors at Guardian Gaming. If you guys want to buy some of these new codes, uh, use code ORBOM at checkout, and we should be having a pack opening if everything goes well with my sponsors. So, yeah, that's going to be it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.